All right, guys, welcome back. This is video number two of the best environment for physique sports, for bodybuilding, for any category where you are looking to progress your physique. Um, and I started off this video series and really talking about what it means to be to have your body in a responsive place. And, and a big part of that is how we handle food, how we handle nutrients. And today what I wanna talk about is actually setting up your diet to accomplish this end, okay? So it's very important. I, and what I really, what this really boils down to me is keeping body fat in a place where you can truly monitor progress. And then from that, if you're more responsive to food, if you're able to recover better, if you're able to stay leaner, you're gonna continue to be able to put on more lean tissue and the whole prog process is just gonna exponentially grow. And that's, that's ultimately the goal of physique sports is to make as much progress as you can within a given time frame, whether that's three months, whether that's six months, whether that's 12 months. If you guys really break this down and try to capitalize off of every goal and every time frame that you have, you're gonna be so much more successful. And really what I hope this gets across to you guys is I think so often I keep bringing in this, this thought process of being stagnant because to me it's so prominent within physique sports. Like there's so many of you, I think if you're really honest with yourself, and you say, what have you accomplished in the last six months? Like, honestly, like think about that. What have you accomplished in the last six months? Can you answer that? What did you accomplish the three months before that? Can you answer that? You know, and just continue to ask these, yourself these questions. What am I truly accomplishing? What am I truly building? And if you can't answer those, this video is for you. You know, if you're struggling with that, if you don't know what to do, this video is for you. So when it comes down to how to set up your diet. This this video isn't going to go over like macros and you know hopefully as you guys are coming to me you understand caloric density of foods, you understand macronutrients, you understand fats, carbs and proteins. But what I want to really relate to you in this video is four main points, okay? Those four points are you have got to take progress pictures. Okay? Your progress pictures are going to continue to tell you what your body fat levels are doing, where they're going, are they increasing? Are, are you maintaining? Are you staying lean? Um, and, and within that leanness, are you able to see changes to your physique? That That is paramount. You have to be doing that. Just as importantly, you know, these, these four is like, it's like 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D for me because they're all equally as, as important. So that's why I wanted to bring them to your attention. Second thing I wanna talk about um, outside of your progress pictures is what is your gym performance doing? Are you progressing? Are you not progressing? Um, so let's go back to progress pictures. When it comes to this, this plan and what we're doing here, I got a little ahead of myself, sorry. Um, when I decided to kind of revamp my entire plan in March, I had a really good idea of where my nutritional needs needed to be to make progress. Some of this is very experience-based. Some of this is gonna take a little bit of play from you guys, okay? so. What you wanna do is you wanna be in a state, especially if you're a little, if you, just be honest with yourself, if you're a little fat, um, if your areas that hold more body fat are really starting to show fat levels creeping up, you need to set up a diet where we're losing that body fat but we're not hindering progress. That's why I wanna join these two together. We need to be in a place with our diet where we're not hindering our progress but we're not overfeeding and overeating to the point where we're basically increasing or not decreasing fat gain. That, that to me is essentially bodybuilding in a nutshell. We need to be increasing performance in the gym, but not increasing fat gain, okay? To me, that is huge. Um, so within this, I basically know if I can structure my day to anywhere around, anywhere for you typically below uh, 200 grams of carbs for me is when performance starts to drop. So in March, what I did is I set up my diet. I typically set up my diet, 55 grams of fat as my sweet spot to start a diet. And then I started my diet at 200 grams of carbs. What I did is I did a pull to know where I was gonna make progress. And then from there, I monitored performance, okay? That's the key here. I would encourage you guys to make enough of a pull that you know you're gonna be decreasing body fat levels, that you know you're gonna be increasing sensitivity to nutrients. And nutrient sensitivity doesn't come just in the form of reducing carbohydrates. It typically comes in the form of reducing calories as a whole. Not typically, it does come in the form of reducing calories as a whole. So within this, set your calorie standpoint in a place where you know you're gonna be improving your body composition like right off the bat, okay? And then from there, 
monitor your performance in that. If your performance starts to drop, bring your calories back up slightly and then find that sweet spot. But typically in bodybuilding, we are consumers of if something is good, more is better. This definitely comes in the form of carbohydrates, okay? You guys need to be intaking carbohydrates based off of where your body is at currently and based off of what your metabolism can support. You guys do not need to be intaking carbohydrates based off of the physique that you wanna have in five years. And I think that's one of the mistakes that so many of us, especially young lifters make, is we're eating based off of the guys that we wanna look like and what they're doing. But metabolically, and amount and the amount of lean tissue that we have at this point, we simply just can't support it yet. Feed your body off of your needs and what you, your body can support in terms of your lean muscle tissue, okay? That's extremely important. The other two things I wanna talk about, again, these are four key points, all need to be accounted for, is your digestion, okay? So when you're setting up your diet, and also anabolics are gonna play a picture here, um, and, I, and I'm gonna talk about anabolics in its own separate video, but you guys need to be aware of the effect that anabolics cause on digestion, specifically um, Tren, Orals, Anadrol. Um, some people have issues with Tren, some don't. Some people have issues with Oral, some don't. Most people have issues with the Oral Anadrol, a few don't. Um, so what I would do to, to support your digestion in that way is if you guys do decide to go on these things, that you are backing them up with liver support, that you're backing them up with potentially adding ox bile. I would take Tudka, which increases bile flow. Um, that should fix the issue for most of you guys. If you are not taking Tudka while on orals, I can pretty much tell you that you're gonna have issues. Tren is just a toxic drug in general. I think it just taxes our system that it shows repercussions in terms of our digestion. Um, so you need to be very aware of these things. And I'm gonna say this over and over and over again. If you are bodybuilding, but what you're taking is limiting or impacting your ability to eat and your digestion, something is wrong. Do not be so headstrong, you have to take drugs X, Y, and Z that you're limiting your body's ability to recover through food because it's gonna happen through food first and then through supplements. That's what they are, they're supplements. It should happen through that second. If you are over supplementing to the point where you cannot eat the food and cannot properly digest the food that you are trying to eat, then you're doing it wrong, okay? You're missing the whole point of this, all right? And then lastly, what I wanna talk about is hunger. For a greater majority of us, we some people like being hungry. A lot of bodybuilders think that they shouldn't be hungry or that if they're hungry, they're doing things wrong. If they're hungry, they're not growing. I would venture to say the exact opposite. You wanna find your sweet spot where your progress pictures are improving, your performance in the gym is improving, yet you are still hungry, okay? If you guys have mild hunger throughout the day from meal to meal, for one, that tells me that your digestion is good, which is a key to this. It also tells me that your insulin sensitivity is in a good position. And it also tells me that you're keeping your body fat levels where you need to be, typically. And again, there's outliers, like I can name five of them right now. But these five outliers that I'm gonna name, um, one came from being extremely small, extremely lean as a child, or two, they have an extremely high amount of muscle mass. If, those, if that doesn't you know, basically name yourself in terms of characteristics, you do not need to be force feeding all the time. You need to find your sweet spot where you're progressing in terms of your look, you're progressing in terms of your performance, but you're not hindering digestion and you are still hungry. Um, I honestly think that the more hungry that you can stay mildly, it's going to really exponentially increase your progress versus going through these periods of stalling out because your body fat levels have gotten too high. All right, so that's really my feedback. When, when it comes to setting up your diet, these are the four things that should constantly be monitored. Um, if you guys have specific questions about your own situation, just put them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer those. I will give specific videos just on you know, starting a diet from how to assess your uh, energy expenditure throughout the day, how to assess your, you know, your, your basal metabolic rate, um, how to assess what your protein needs are, what your fat needs are, what your carb needs are. But this video is just a little bit more advanced for those of you guys that already understand those things, taking your current base diet and then molding them off of these four variables. And again, those four variables are making sure that your progress pictures are actually making progress, okay? Don't be in denial, don't be delusional, 
Make sure that you're making progress in your progress pictures. Number two, make sure you're making progress in the gym. Guys, if you're not making progress in the gym, I can't say it enough. Like, what are, what are we doing, okay? That is so crucial. Make sure that your digestion is intact. And what that means is you're not bloated all day and that you are going to the bathroom regularly and they're healthy bowel movements. We should not have gas all day long. We should not have diarrhea every day. You should not go to bed looking pregnant unless you are one of those people that need that amount of food. And, the, and there's two things that happen here. And this is something I ask all the time on my check-ins. Are you bloated due to food volume or are you bloated due to a nutrient that you're not accepting and absorbing well, okay? There's a big difference there. If you're eating 350 grams of rice six times a day, you're gonna go to bed with a stomach that's a little bit bigger than what you woke up with that. If you are eating a potato and as soon as you eat that potato, it's like boom, like you just lose all um, definition through your midsection, I would say that your body's ability to digest that potato is off, okay? And there's several foods. There's egg whites, there's potato, there's oats, there's protein sources, protein powder sources for some people. So be aware of these things. And then last thing, I would encourage you to be mildly hungry all throughout the day. If you're mildly hungry all throughout the day, chances are you are not increasing your body fat. Um, and then just kind of monitor these these variables. Like it's a, it's a game, it's, it's a push and pull. It's, it's go up, it's come back down. It's go up, it's come back down. Hope this helps guys. I'll be back with video number three shortly.